Interestingly, though, uh, the government's only argument against nuclear now is the cost. To me, in a way, that's a victory for the nuclear debate because they've stopped trying to scare people about nuclear weapons proliferation or about the waste issues or trying to claim it's unsafe. They're only arguing on cost, and that's a debate that the industry should win if it can. Well, and I think the industry is able to win it when you look around the world in the global evidence. Like, what is it that Australia knows that countries around the world that are investing in nuclear energy, there's around 50 countries which are going to consider opening up a civil nuclear power reactor for the first time, whether, and you can look around the world of countries increasing their investment in nuclear energy, whether that be in France, the UK, or in the United States. What is it that they know about the economics it's most likely that they know a lot more about the economics of nuclear energy than we do in Australia. And the fact remains that nuclear energy is the cleanest form of energy. It has the lowest greenhouse gas emissions. It's the most reliable and it's the second safest form of energy. So on those metrics alone, I think there's a really clear case for the ban on nuclear energy to be lifted in Australia. Yeah, well, it's simply embarrassing to say that it doesn't stack up and knock economically when you look at what's happening in the UK, France, South Korea, Finland, wherever mm. else around the world. But I want to show another clip from Q&A, because here again, the politicians get hung up on the issue of waste. They can't come to a sensible conclusion. And once again, watch the way Will sticks into the conversation, cuts in with a cut-through point about waste. He has given commitments to the United States and to the United Kingdom that we can effectively manage high-level nuclear waste. Here he is on national television saying that we can't. That is a serious concern. And just because you can take... Can I... Can I... Just, just very quickly, Will. Can I very quickly have a word? I don't think the issue here is the science. The issue here is politics. I think that's really clear. We have the solutions of how to manage spent fuel, high-level waste around the world. And I think it's a shame we're still having these discussions and fear-mongering about high-level waste spent fuel because I'm sure they wouldn't be having these discussions in France or in all of the other countries around the world which are able to successfully manage nuclear waste. And it's not an issue to them. But for some reason, it is here in Australia. And I think that says a lot about our politics today. There you go, Will. Uh, well said. But again, when it comes to the economic debate and the waste debate and any mm. issue to do with nuclear, it is all about the politics, isn't it? It is, unfortunately, and it seems that it's only that way in Australia of all countries because when you look at around the world, nuclear energy is actually a uniting issue. If you look to the UK, both the Conservatives and UK Labor support it. In Finland, the Finnish Greens support it. But when you look back at Australia, for some reason, the government, even though it's not their own policy, still is willing uh, to not lift the ban on nuclear energy, and that makes no sense to me. I think the thing about waste specifically is that it's important to remember that nuclear energy is the only form of energy which is able to manage its waste. When you look at the energy, the waste, sorry, that comes from fossil fuels, we have to breathe it in every single day. That has consequences. The waste from renewables, whilst there's innovations in this space, which are great, that ends up in landfill. Nuclear energy is the only form of energy which is able to manage its waste. So given this is such a big issue around the world, well, it's such a large industry around the world, but it's such a big political issue in Australia, why is it that a 17-year-old school student needs to form Nuclear for Australia and lead the debate, if you like, in this country? Why aren't politicians, engineers and scientists driving the debate? Well, look, it's beyond me, and I think it's a real shame that I'm having to take out my own time to do this. But what I would say is I think the experts on this need to be listened to because there are many experts, including in private circles, which are clear that nuclear energy is needed in Australia and that there are huge risks presented by the government's renewable-centric approach to the energy transition. And the fact is, if this net-zero transformation fails, then it fails for my generation, and the consequences of that will be disastrous. Well, congratulations on your advocacy, Will, and thanks for joining us again. Thank you, Chris. Pretty impressive young bloke, isn't he? Will's got a petition up and running calling on the federal government to lift the ban on nuclear. You can scan this QR code on your screen or you can go to nuclearforaustralia.com.